wanna skip town, see my wrist down. Everybody wanna f me for benefits now, man. I wish my what is good everybody my name is the coaster king and today i'm going through my top 10 roller coaster manufacturers uh there's, all, there's obviously so many roller coaster manufacturers both defunct and currently operating and sometimes people like to rank them and give their own opinions on where they should be ranked uh i'm just going to give my ideas as to where they should go and hopefully you guys can agree with them so starting off at number 10, I have Vacoma. I know some of their old models are not too popular. Um, personally, out of the old models, I do not mind the Vacoma Flying Dutchmans. I think SLCs are horrible. I think flashbacks or boomerangs, excuse me, are bad. But I think that the new models, the future, um, the futuristic Vacomas are just really cool. I think they're definitely going to offer a good ride. And I hope uh, some American parks start to put these in so I can get on some of these ones. At number nine, we have SNS. SNS is a, a newcomer in the uh, roller coaster industry. I haven't I haven't heard of too many old SNS roller coasters, but uh, these rides are starting to pop up everywhere. One of the most common ones everybody knows of is the 4D free spin. Uh, the 4D free spin is honestly probably the reason why it's all the way down here at number nine. Uh, these rides are not that great, but they're also very popular with the GP. Uh, they usually have long lines, and pretty much every park in the Six Flags chain has one. Um, the, the this uh, this coaster manufacturer is decently well known. Uh, some other coasters that it's known for is Steel Curtain and Dota Dompa. Dota Dompa is the world's fastest accelerating coaster, if you're wondering. And Steel Curtain is obviously one of the best rides uh, in Pennsylvania. And I think I definitely want to get into Steel Curtain in the near future. At number seven, number eight, sorry, I'm going to put Gravity Group. And really, there's one ride carrying this manufacturer, and it's the Voyage. Uh, the Voyage is, is well known. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, one roller coaster in the world. I think this ride is, is one of my bucket lists for the future. Uh, it just offers such a long ride. It's very popular among all enthusiasts and GP. Uh, this ride looks absolutely insane with the both floater and ejector at a time. I do know that they run it without trims for like one day, and on that day, it's like the best ride in the world. I subscribe by a lot of enthusiasts, but uh, this ride is definitely one of the ones I do want to hop on in the future. Some of the other ones by the manuf by this manufacturer that I can name were Hades 360 and Mind Blower. Uh, Mind Blower definitely looks like a cooler one. I think it's at one of the fun town parks, and it's just going to be one of those rides that you come you go to a park to go on it's a bucket list coaster very very overall very cool ride uh in, in general I, I definitely am a big supporter of gravity group at number six i have gerslauer these this manufacturer is amazing mostly known for the Eurofighters. uh they pop up all around america the one i'm showing here is the daredevil dive at six flags over georgia uh these Eurofighters are not too loved by enthusiasts but i personally like them a lot I think they're definitely a good experience. But outside of that, Gershler does offer amazing other rides. Uh, a couple of these are Hang Time and The Smiler. Hang Time is one of my bucket list coasters. I definitely really want to get on that in the future. And The Smiler is the uh, coaster that inverts the most in the world. Both these rides are definitely seem really cool and definitely uh, give a great rider experience for everybody. Uh, one thing they do... Uh, Provide trains on some of the RMC coasters, so you have to also give them bonus points for that. That's definitely a cool thing they do. I don't mind their restraint systems, and I think they're decent. For number six, I have Premier Rides. I know a lot of people don't like to rank this ride, this manufacturer this high, but I think they have a lot of great rides. Uh, one that really stands out to me is West Coast Racers. I think this is going to be an amazing ride when it opens up. Uh, West Coast Racers looks to be one of the best coasters at Magic Mountain, if not the best, probably second to Twist Cyclone, uh, Twisted Colossus, in my opinion. And Premier Ride just offers great rides uh, all across America. Some other ones include Full Throttle and the Skyrocket Clones. I've personally been on a Skyrocket Clone. I think these are underrated. I went on Tempesta at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and I think this was an awesome ride. Uh, gave a lot of hang time on that course shoe at the top, the barrel at the top, and offered a lot of airtime throughout the ride. Uh, they are a little short, but overall, I think this is just an amazing manufacturer with some great rides. At number five, I have GCI. 
Uh, GCI is a more recent roller coaster manufacturer and has made some awesome rides. Uh, they're known for their airtime on their wooden coasters, and I think that uh, it has a lot of potential for new coaches in the future. So the ones that I that stick out to me are Mystic Timbers, Gold Striker, and Texas Stingray. All of these rides have a lot of airtime. Well, Texas Stingray is currently in production. We don't know how much airtime it has, but it definitely just the, this GCI is just known for having great airtime, great rides. Uh, no one really complains at the GCI. The only GCI I believe I've been on is Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And this was more of a uh, kiddie ride than a, a, a thrill coaster, but you still got some airtime and it was just still really smooth. Uh, GCI is one of my favorite manufacturers and definitely a lot of their rides are going to be my bucket list coasters for the future. Uh, for number four, I have mock rides. There's just so many rides by this manufacturer in, in recent years that make me want to go on. So I, I think some of the more popular ones are DC Rivals, Copperhead Strike, and Time Traveler. All these rides are super popular among enthusiasts, especially DC Rivals, and they're all bucket list coasters for me. Uh, mock rides offers a lot of great launch coasters, as like Copperhead Strike, and even some crazy rides like Time Traveler. Uh, as soon as they announced Time Travelers, I always wanted to go down to Silver Dollar City and hop on the ride. It definitely looks really cool with the whole launch spinning coaster that inverts. That's a crazy concept to me. And it's just, uh, Mock Rides makes amazing rides just like that. And you, you can't hate a Mock Rides coaster. Uh, I can't name too many bad Mock Rides coasters. And they're definitely uh, one of the ones that's growing for the future at a very fast rate. For B&M, uh, B&M is one of the more well-known coaster manufacturers, and I know it's only number three. And may, people may want it to be higher, but I'm going to put it down here at number three. Uh, there are some amazing rides by B&M, especially their hyper coasters stand out to me. Some ones that stand out, uh, Nitro, Apollo Chariot, and Diamondback. The, all those rides are just amazing B&M hypers that people come all the way across America to go on. Um, Nitro is at my home park at Great Adventure, and this is probably the ride I rode most often in my lifetime. Maybe El Toro is up there too. But uh, Nitro and, and all B&M Hypers, I've been on a few of them now, are awesome rides. Uh, and they're still developing great rides, B&M, in Candymonium, and, and, and new rides like that, uh, and new models, such as the Surf Coaster model, and, and new dive coasters, such as Emperor. It's just a great company. Uh, I hope they can get a little more creative in the future as their rides are kind of everywhere now. Um, pretty much every park I would hope has a B&M, every major park. And that's something that is just really good for a coaster manufacturer. Uh, it's super well known, probably one of the most well known coaster manufacturers in the world. And I think all the rides offer great float air time and great intensity in some of the inverted coasters as well as all the other models that they offer. At number two, I know a lot of people wanted this to be at number one, but I'm putting it at number two. I'm going to go with RMC. Uh, RMC is is obviously a newer manufacturer with some of their hybrid conversions, and these are just amazing rides. There's no way around it. Um, I don't ever, I've never heard someone complain about an RMC. Like they're just awesome rides. I've been on three or four. Uh, personally, my favorite one ever is Wicked Cyclone. Uh, but I've also been Iron Rattler, a new Texas Giant, and I think there's one more. Can't think of it off the top of my head. But RMC just has a great collection of roller coasters. Uh, some of them that stick out to me are Seal Vengeance, Wicked Cyclone, and Zadra. I think all these rides are absolutely insane. Uh, Seal Vengeance is probably, from what I've heard from uh, people that I talk to who have been on the ride, is that this coaster is the best in the world and beats out everything else. So that's definitely awesome. And RMC is obviously one of the faster growing companies in the world. I'm really looking forward to getting on the Jersey Double Coaster. Uh, hopefully next, hopefully this summer, but probably next summer. And uh, the Raptor models and T-Rex models in the future give it a good outlook and can probably push it to number one once they start developing those T-Rex models and uh, continuously expanding their, their business uh, across America. Number one, the only one left, is Intamin. Um, Intamin makes some of the best rides in the world, period. Uh, one of the ones, hands down, that sticks out to me is El Toro. 
El Toro is my favorite ride I've ever been on. Not even close. There's no competition. It probably will forever be just because I have a soft spot for it. But El Toro is just an awesome ride. Uh, all intimate coasters offer great airtime, great intensity, and, and a great match of everything. Uh, some other coasters that stick out to me. Intimidator 305, Maverick. All these rides are just really well known among enthusiasts, and, and they all rank super high. You know, you throw in like a Millennium Force, and there's just revolutionary coasters that have changed the entire outlook of the industry coasters like maverick with with the low to ground switches and the and, and the crazy intensity just make the coaster industry what it is and uh make enthusiasts love the manufacturer once again this is one of those ones that you never will com hear people complaining oh we're only getting new intimate next year like that that'll never happen and that's one thing that's just so great about intimate uh in general the reason I put it over RMC is just to get out to more coasters in general. I think that uh, their their volume in their amount of coasters that they have just brings it over RMC. All their newer rides are, maybe aren't as good as RMC it, if you go one by one, but collectively, it's just so many rides and it's so many cars. So that's gonna be it guys make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the video as well as other uh video ideas for the future and things you want to see on my channel thank you guys